Uh. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Corey. I'm the old man that is bad at games. We are back in the world of Camarocho, or the town of Camarocho, or whatever. We're here. And, uh, we're just going to explore a little bit at the moment. Go to Wet Kitchen. It doesn't sound gross. So the dialogue uh, on the streets is kind of interesting. Cannot go into there. I changed his mind. All right, let's run a little bit. Should be a nightclub right here, unless I'm on the wrong side of it. I don't know what that is. Uh, all right. There's a taxi stand. You want something? No, no. Nothing in particular. Then leave me the heck alone. Guess that attitude's how you ended up here. It's kind of a... angry young man. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, we were going to go to the law office, but now we're going to go in the sewer. Hmm. There's probably not a place we're supposed to be yet. <laughs> We're already here, so we might as well look around. Wouldn't you agree? It's my favorite when you got somebody who's like pretty good at what they do, but they can't climb a ladder. They just run into it four times. I always found that to be kind of funny. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I think we did that here. The restaurant. Let's see what's up here. Hey there, sorry son. Look. Yaki, extra fancy. Kendall Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami-san. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You, uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. I like the incidental music. So I hear you're good. Pass the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How did you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? How? Huh? Well, you see, that's. Uh... I hear you over there, Yagami. Evening. 
Kinda-sensei. Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Kenda-sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Shintani-sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy, though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you had. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda-sensei. I got you some dorayaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. Well, there you go. Hey, sorry, son. Got any work lined up for me? No. It's good. So, what are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda Sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep doing this to yourself, Yagami? You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Kamurocho was a safe place. Uh-huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. Why is that? Take a good look at me, Genda Sensei. Mm hmm? These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes, but it wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I never want to deal with something like that again. So, have any work for me? A guy's got to stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy-chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got. Just give me something. Uh, how about a divorce case? I have some evidence that needs collect. It'll be the usual deal. Take out a love hotel. A love hotel. Guy. Dig through some trash. You in? I'm in. A job's a job. Oh, I give up. I'll send you the details later. And next time, don't bring a gift, you hear? Doesn't feel right taking them from guys too broke to pay for them. Anything you say. All right. Genda Law Office. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yagami-san, that was Shintani-sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? And this is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. It's been years since we murder case. Shintani Sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. All right. And we'll go down the elevator.
Another one of those places. There's a fantastic romance. So, like a lot of nerds from the 90s. Oh, wait, do I just go get a used cigarette? Oh. Um. I was fascinated. Sorry. With Japan, Japanese culture, and that sort of thing. And, you know, that was kind of the. That was a big deal. Um. Especially being a console kid, because it, you know, there weren't a ton of Western developers making console games, at least at that time. Um, let's wander up here and see what we see. So that was the thing that initially uh, interested me in checking out, you know, the original Yakuza games back in the day further games by this studio. I mean, obviously it's a fictionalized version of an area in Tokyo, but and I don't know how accurate it is or, you know, anything like that, but it's kind of neat wandering around and seeing all the stuff. All right. I want to try the baseball game, maybe. There's a ton of mini games that you can play in these. Um, I don't know. It's just I've been extremely impressed with all the uh, all the games I've played out of this studio this far. Excuse me, business suits. A home run course. All right, swing map pause. All right. Can't imagine doing this with a surgical go. mask on. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Put the ball on that one. There we go. I'm real bad at this. Real bad. Oh. That'll work. Ooh. God, why am I swinging so early? Rank is disqualified. That fits. Look, if y'all are just going to stand there in suits and stare at people while they play baseball, you've got to understand that you're in the way. All right. Let's wander up here. That's a stop. There's a ramen spot. God, the food looks great. I can go in for some ramen now, honestly. See, I keep wondering if there's any, like, hidden stuff. Like, look at this. Like, why would they make this if there's not going to be something back here at some point? But what do I know? Blue turn. Can I go in there? Negative. All these people walk weird. 
That's another thing that I've noticed about this game. Alright, so this backs out of that. There's an eating joint. Let's, uh... What? This again. I mean, that's pretty impressive, but there was nobody there. you into that really guys Chrysler I got a bronze plate what now fools all right so that's where we were we can go to Club Sega Come back and do this later, actually. So, yeah, there's Club Sega. I feel like there's a nightclub here to the right. It's a hotel now. Uh, karaoke place. Excuse me. Can I go to the theater? Smoking area. Elevator. There's cafe. Yeah, the amount of crap that you can do is really pretty nifty. What's on the rooftop? Let's go investigate that. This may be a do-nothing episode. But that's okay. Sometimes it's neat just to explore. So says I. You may disagree. I don't know. Alright. Well. It's a bit of a waste of time. Uh, hello. Welcome, sir. Please take any seat you like. Oh, I didn't mean to stare. Forgive my rudeness. It's over here. Uh, it's just a corner. Uh, I'm hitting all the tables. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking like that. Does that take us somewhere other than the rooftop? Oh, we can go to the basement. Let's go to the basement. Let's see what's down there. Uh. Well. There's Drone League. Is this like a mall? We actually took um, our youngest kids to a, well, our two youngest and our one oldest, we have four, and uh, went to a mall yesterday after uh, my daughter's infusion. It's been a long time since I've been to a mall and uh, I don't know that my youngest had ever actually been. Uh, he's a, he's five. He's pretty much a COVID baby. 
Can't use that elevator. Um, so his, most of his world has taken place, you know, in our house, uh, particularly from the beginning or in the beginning. But, um, anyway, it was, uh, it was rough. It was not a, a good experience at all. It's like a flea market. He's fascinated with the 80s and likes to talk to me about things we did when I was a kid. Anyway, that's what kind of brought that up. Regardless, that's clearly not a very interesting story. There we go. Let's see if they drop a plate or a soup spoon or something. Maybe a golden banana. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap this up here. Um, I may do a little more exploring of Kamarocho before we hop back in just to see what all we got here and, uh, you know, sort of check stuff out. Cause again, this is kind of my, uh, it's kind of my primary go-to things in these games. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, give us a like, consider subscribing. Again, my name is Corey. I'm the old man that's bad at games. We'll see you next time.